Hey, what is up everybody? This is the great Puckettini coming at you on behalf of PucketFanshop.com. And over at PucketFanshop.com is my website where we put dog designs on all, kind, on all kinds of products from stickers to socks to shirts. Uh, anything you can think of, we, we put our dog designs on. And uh, if, if you check out our website and you want something we don't have, send me a message and I'll try my best to, to add what you want. It would be a certain kind of uh, a dog breed we don't have or maybe a different kind of um, product. I have a lot of them in my catalog that I can't put online or I haven't done yet just because of time. So if you see something you like, like an apron or shower curtains or towels, stuff like that, holler at me and I'd be glad to make you some. We also do custom orders. And I'm going to tell you that the Australian Shepherd on my website is actually based on my dog. And uh, a lot of people have liked that design, and that was off of my Australian Shepherd, my Aussie, and uh, we love her. But anyway, uh, and several of the other dogs on there were custom orders from customers that wanted me to uh, want it to be specific to their dog. So we love to do custom orders. So um, holler at me, hit me up if you want. I'd love to do business with you. All right, now, but what I'm doing today is is I'm breaking down the Dallas Cowboys fifth round draft pick, John Ridgeway. Now, Ridgeway is a six foot five, three hundred twenty one pound uh, defensive tackle from Arkansas. That's where I'm from, as you see. A lot of you guys know me. Uh, now, when I break down a player, the first thing I look at is their size and speed, because there are prototype sizes and speeds for every position. You know, for um, there are certain heights and weights that players need to be if they're going to be successful in the NFL. Okay, now. Um, the prototype size for an NFL defensive tackle is six foot three, three hundred two pounds, and runs a four nine eight forty. That's a big guy running fast. Now, Ridgeway is about six five three twenty one, but he run and he runs a five three forty. Now, so I'll start off by saying that I'm a big Arkansas Razorback fan, and I really like Ridgeway uh, with the Razorbacks. Thought he was a very good player. Uh, and he was, he's that high effort player, you know, you love cheering for that guy. However, there are a few red flags with him in the NFL. First of all, is his, I say his size, really his speed more than anything. Um, I'd like to see him lose about 20 pounds and get faster. You know, right now he's about 321. He might have lost some weight in camp now. But I'd like to see that 40 time get down from a 5'3 to 4'9'8. Get down more in that range or maybe faster. You know, and I, you know, and I know you may think, well, he's a defensive tackle. You know, that speed don't matter, but I promise you, it does. Especially in today's NFL, where they're throwing the ball all the time. Uh, you need guys that can move, even those guys inside. They'll be able to run. So I would like to see him get faster. Um, and if he can do that, it definitely will help him. You know, look at Aaron Donald. You know, Aaron Donald uh, plays for the Rams and considered the my, has he been the defensive player of the year? I think it was this last year. And his game's based on speed, and he's strong as a ox too. But the sucker can run. And that's where the NFL's going now. You got to be able to move. You got to be able to run. Now, the next thing I do is I look at their stats. And in Ridgeway's uh, 2021 stats, uh, he made 39 tackles, and four of those were for a loss. He had two sacks, and he had one quarterback hurry. Um, now, the next thing I do is I look at film study. I watch highlights on YouTube. And I watched Ridgeway play a lot this year because I'm an Arkansas Razorback fan. I watched all the games. And uh, and I'm a big fan of his. I really like Ridgeway. Now, I watched his 2021 highlights on YouTube. Like I just said, I see he's got a strong upper body. Uh, he can get off blocks real well. He uses his arms, hands really good. And that's a sign of a good defensive lineman, you know, getting off these blocks. Don't get tied up. He played a lot of zero tech uh, in college at Arkansas, which is like a nose tackle. His head up on the center a lot. Arsenal ran like a three-man front. He was generally the the nose guard, the zero tech is what I, what I always called it <clears throat> when I was coaching. I will say that I, he looks faster on film than his 40 time. You know, 5'3", is your kind of, to me, you don't move him very well, but he looked like he moved better than that. But uh, he might have had a bad day when he ran his 40. But I'd still like to see him get faster, lose a little weight. <clears throat> he does get a good push up the middle versus the center. He's used to that. And, you know, centers have to snap the ball, and he does a real good job of pushing the pocket. <clears throat> and and you need that in the NFL, um, you know. So he does a good job versus centers getting a good push. He's very aggressive. You know, he's been in a few fights already. He's an aggressive player. He's going to play the whistle. He plays with a lot of emotion. 
And you want guys like that. You know, you want guys that play the whistle. You know, you, you want to have to pull them back. You know, you don't, you can't make that dog bite. You know, you kind of have to pull, I guess you can, but you know, it, it, you can't make a player aggressive really. They either have it or they don't. He definitely has it. Plays with a lot of emotion. All right, now, next up, let's see. The next thing I'll look at <clears throat> is uh, how will he fit in, you know, with the Cowboys this year? They're already in training camp. They're about done training camp. I think they play the, the uh, when I'm making this video, they play somebody tonight. I'll start to say the Broncos. That's who they've been practicing with. But anyway, um, I'll start off by saying the Cowboys are a very talented group of defensive tackles. I think they have six defensive tackles that have that prototype size and speed that you want. They've done a good job of amassing talent at the defensive tackle position. And Ridgeway's going to have to battle to make the team. You know, he is a draft pick, uh, so that gives him a little leg up on some of these guys because uh, they want to keep him around. Uh, but he'll need to have a good camp. And I've heard he's been doing pretty good. I try to watch all the clips I can. Um, <clears throat> so I, hopefully he'll, he'll, he'll make the team. Now, in my opinion, I'll add a little bit more to this, but in my opinion, John Ridgway is a high motor guy that understands the game. He's smart, he knows the game, he's very high motor, uh, which means he's he's aggressive, he's he's um, he hustles, he's a hustler. You know, in the Cowboys defense, they have the strong side defensive tackle is like a three tech. That's like on the outside shoulder of the guard on the strong side. <clears throat> And his job is to get upfield. That guy's job is to get upfield and cause havoc. Then on the back side, the defense tackle is usually a one tech. That means kind of you're on the inside shoulder of the guard, <clears throat> in between the guard and the center, kind of right in there. And Ridgeway played a zero tech in college mostly, most all the time. He, that's where he lined up. So I think the one tech would be best for him. Uh, he's used to going against centers. He's he's real strong up body. He can push them back. He's used to doing that. But I think he can play some at three tech as well, especially if you get faster. Um, he's aggressive. He'll get up field, but I think he would fit better as that one tech. Um, I think he will make the team <clears throat> because he's a draft pick, hopefully on the 53-man roster. But since, uh, you know, I said he was a draft pick, and they'll give him every chance to make the team. Uh, and I also heard Nate Newton the other day talking about him, about Nate liked him, said he's showing some good things aggressive and that's the type of player we want so that's very good he's some people are seeing him and also he's been in some fights too i know uh that'll get your name in there you know and uh that's oh, that's not a bad thing and then uh he could be a good guy for the practice squad too you know if you don't make the 53-man roster it's gonna be hard for him to make it they got a bunch of good defensive tackles in there and uh i think he might be a good guy for the um practice squad uh keep him on the team and use him so somebody gets hurt uh, be a good guy to do that. He'd be a great guy to keep around, somebody that you want uh, to keep on your team. In closing, I think the Cowboys made another good pick with John Ridgeway. Even though he does not have that prototype size and speed, I think he can get to that if he loses some weight. And that'll help him get faster, of course, you know. That's really the only thing I see. He just needs to lose some weight and get faster. His blue-collar work ethic will go a long ways to winning the coaches over, and hopefully he can slim down and get faster. And that's all I got, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Great Puckatini channel. Uh, I post videos on here with the Dallas Cowboys and the Arkansas Razorbacks. They're my two favorite teams. Uh, if you would, also check out PucketFanshop.com. I'll have a link down below. And see if we have anything over there you might like. You know, And, and like I said earlier, if you see something that you'd like us to add, a certain um, a breed of dog or something, hit me up. I'd love to do business with you. And... Also, down below, I know um, I like to show you my video notes that I'm looking off of. I like to show those when I do videos, but my computer is messed up, not letting me do it. I can't get any audio, so I'm having to record on my phone. So what I do in these videos down below is I link up like each section, and that way you can kind of jump to a section if you want to or not. And uh, But anyway, so check that out. Uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, go Cowboys. Have a great day. Peace.